this one, what we'll be looking at is the NF Wood product. A most recent, or an introduction that in the last two years that has uh, been available on the market to growers. Uh, it's a non-aggregate mix, so uh, we will proceed to talk about it. Innovation and environment are priorities for Berger. The new NF Wood line, which utilizes a renewable raw material, provides growers with the same quality and consistency as other Berger products, while bringing new opportunities to adjust and improve growing media characteristics. Wood fiber, horticultural fibers are made from paper mill quality wood chips, so it is a byproduct from the paper mill industry. Overview of the presentation is production, characteristics, we'll talk about advantages, disadvantages, the available products to you, and recommendations, including water management and even fertility. So the process that is being used by a company for Bourget is a double auger uh, system and the disfibering process after debarking and the initial head ring cuts, the slabs of pine sapwood are chipped into paper mill quality wood chips. So as you can see, we're not using the bark at all. Uh, most people get confused because when we do talk about a wood product, we're actually talking about, well, you guys are just using good old bark like you would see in BM7. The bark is not, not the portion we're working with. We are working with the sapwood, which is these pieces, okay? Double auger and disfibering process. Wood chips are washed, fed into the auger. The chips are compressed through two augers, creating an abundant heat, which eliminates phytotoxic compounds, stabilizes the fibers. Final product is of a consistent particle size. Like with any of our mixes, we have to know what our particle size is so that we can interface it as a component within the mix. Okay. Wood chips are washed and fed into the disc fibering system. Chips are preheated 230 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit under pressure with vapor. They are then forced through the rotating disc which grinds them down to a uniform size. So as they pass through here, they're actually then squeezed through this disc. They go from this mass uh, into, as you can see, long fibers. Quality control, before it, it is used to produce mixes, Berger performs several tests on its wood fiber to ensure that it meets the high quality standards that we've established. Before each wood product, a sample of NF wood is sent to our laboratory for testing. This helps Berger adjust the recipe and production to always get the same quality and consistency no matter when or where a growing media is produced. Very similar to any of our lines of mixes, we try to achieve or we're, we're targeting consistency from one load to another. Physical characteristics, pH, electric conductivity, and cation exchange capacity. As you can see, the sphagnum peat has a pH of 3.5. We look at the wood fiber, pH of 4.5. Your ECs, very similar, peat and the wood fiber. The CEC, the uh, pegnum is, is, has uh, higher, but you can see at 63, if we were to use rock wool or if we were to use uh, perlite or whole sheet substrate, you can see how beneficial the wood fiber is. So we're actually dealing with a mix then that has over 180 CEC. Does anyone know what CEC is or should I explain it? No? Okay, like the customer would ask about the CEC and in simple terms, it's the capacity for the mix to hold on to nutrients in between waterings. So the higher that CEC is, more nutrient is going to be there. Say for instance, if a person only waters every seven days, the person, there's going to be nutrients available to the plant every seven days. If I had a mix, say for instance, that had only an EC of, uh, I mean a CEC of 10, that means that most of the nutrient that you give it at the time of watering goes right through. Doesn't hold on, nothing to hold on to. So this is, this is a good 
how do you say, a, a good blend, and when we have 120 plus 63 giving us over 180 CEC. Very good. pH and EC values are used to adjust the chemical characteristics when manufacturing them, the, the mixes. CEC of each component contributes to the CEC of the final product. Therefore, the NF wood contributes more than any other aggregate we've used in the past. Okay. Composition. Okay, wood fiber. You got wood content is 100%. Whole tree substrate is, is only 80%. Um, and they tell you it's because, okay, so as you can see, there is no needles, bark, and cones at all in the wood fiber. However, whole sheet subject, because you have leaves, needles, barks, and cones, and everything, you have that. The big difference is, is that the uh, process of breaking down and decomposing is going to be different for the two products. Unless the whole tree substrate is aged, the presence of needles can lead to the phytotoxicity chemical responses. Okay. Bulk density, sphagnum peat, 120, rock wool, 85, perlite 90, wood fiber 55, whole tree substrate 160. NF wood helps to decrease the bulk density. For us, a lighter mix with less bulk density, lighter to ship, less, less expensive to ship, okay? Wettability. NF wood is made from sap wood and therefore is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic meaning loving water. Hydrophobic does not like water. Peat moss is hydrophobic, does not like water. So they complement each other. This one helps to actually hold more water in the mix, okay? Sap wood, living portion of the wood where the sap flows just below the bark. Increases wettability. Physical advantages to sterile products, process, so no phytotoxic substance. No substances that could actually, say, cause some type of burn or, or even reduce the production of roots. It's lightweight, so reduces transport costs. Optimizes water retention and porosity. Stimulates root development. Okay. The stimulation of root development just coincides with the fact that optimal porosity and, and, and aeration. The more air the roots have after you water, the faster and the healthier they grow. Blends very well with peat, so it interfaces. Um, if I take a round piece of perlite and I go to mix it with peat, it, it just rolls around in the peat. Whereas under magnification, you'll see that these two can actually group like this and hold on to each other. That's called a very good interfacing. Made with natural byproduct of the wood industry, local product, sustainable and renewable, carbon cycle, green production process, compared to Rockwell, perlite and vermiculite, because a lot of these, there's even states now like California that will not allow perlite in a mix. See, because the perlite cannot break down. So it's actually when you, people see it out in the gardens and or out on, on, on the landscapes along the highways, the perlite starts to float around. People do not like that. So organic, completely compostable. Not completely inert, but very stable due to heat treatment during the production process. Some nitrogen immobilization at NF wood concentrations over 35%. So that's why our two mixes basically are just 12 and a half or 25%. We're staying below the 35%. Nitrogen immobilization just means that the, like bark or like wood or like the fiber, at a certain extent, it will start to rob nitrogen from the plant for its own use to break down and decompose. So there's always the concern Many customers say if I switch this product, their first concern is basically, is it going to steal a lot of the nitrogen that I'm feeding to the plants? Okay, so we know that it has a very low nitrogen immobilization. 
So you have the NF wood contains 12 and a half percent. Then we have the BM4 NF wood high porosity. It's just an increase in the actual fiber. Uh, again, this is a non-aggregate mix. So all you really have is peat and the fiber. There's no perlite. There's no other aggregate for drainage. Okay. The drainage is, is produced by the NF wood. Okay. Yield and bulk density. You can see BM4 Euro is 220 cubic feet. BM6 220. BM6 HP 220. Then we get to the NF wood, the, the BM4 NF 12 and a half is 230. The BM4 NF wood HP, which is 25, is 245. So actually as it's compressed and put in the bale, when that person then opens the bale, fluffs it, they're actually getting a higher yield. Uh, a higher yield in the same format that we have for the Euro BM6 and BM6 HP. Okay? So that's an advantage. That's a sales advantage that the salesman would use to say, I mean, we are increasing their yield. Okay, in that same sky, you're, you're going to be getting this, which will then increase the number of pots you can fill. Up to 13% gain in yield. Recommendations, BM4 NF wood, water management. The BM4 NF 12 and a half can be used like the BM4 Euro since they have matching physical and chemical characteristics. Compared to BM6 though, it will slightly retain more water. Therefore, watering practices should be adjusted accordingly. So when someone is trying any type of new product, we always will be talking about some type of water management that they might have to utilize simply because the mix prior to what they're trying could have been a mix totally different than a mix that we know. So then we get involved in the water management practices. Recommendations for BM NF Wood HP. Water management will be different compared to equivalent HP substrates. An adjustment of the watering practice will be required. We recommend a decrease in the volume added for irrigation with an increase in the frequency of irrigations. A minor nitrogen drawdown can occur with BM4 NF Wood. Therefore, we recommend an overall increase of 25 parts per million of nitrogen very little nitrogen adjustment so it's not that the person has to really change his total fertilization management or fertility program very little change with the bm4 nf wood mixes you get the same consistent quality as with many other Berger products this innovative environmentally friendly aggregate can give growers many advantages our team of grower advisors can help you to determine if the products are a good match for your production system and help you adjust practices as you transition to these new mixes. With the support of our analytical and technical services, Berger can, be a company, can accompany you throughout your production cycle to ensure you achieve superior results.